Hey guys, what's up? Coach for the Soul, Thursdays at 3, has begun. This is a 99% Clavart reading. If you're watching this live, hello, hello, hello. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, because when you like the video, the algorithms of YouTube pick that baby up and send it to more people around the world. Also, when you comment, the same thing. So please leave a little message there if you like the video. And if you don't like the video, please. And then like all the other videos, all right? So, hi, Lori. How's it going? How are you? Yeah. Have you been holding up okay? It's a rough time right now, isn't it? It is a rough time right now. So, yeah. So we'll see who's going to join us today. And see what's going on. There's a lot to talk about. Hey, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you texted me. Yeah. Hey, Pat. What's going on, brother? What's up? Yeah. So, a lot of cool stuff's going on, guys. You know that, right? So, yeah, we're going to talk about all that stuff. Hey, Shannon. Talk about all those freaking eclipses. Yeah. Sunday, I was, Sunday I was fine after three weeks, right? For three weeks, I was fine. <laughs> three weeks. Hey, Laura. Now let's stay to you. Um, yeah. But um, it was a rough three weeks, wasn't it? Hey, Kathy. How's it going? Hello, other Kathy Bean. What's going on, lady? Oh, you're driving. <laughs> oh, Shannon's driving. Got you. <laughs> well, Shannon, what? I'll just ride with you. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Hi, Ch Sherry. What's up? I can't record your phone number today, Sherry, in my phone. Hey, Kel. How's it going, lady? How's Dan? Text me or something, right? Yeah. So it's cool we got Maui Live back on the TV. Been gone since the fire. So it's awesome. It's back on uh, the YouTubes. So yeah, it's a good thing. Yes. You are wired today. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? Oh, trust me, I'm in 5D. Have been all freaking day. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's like boom, 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 boom. The vibration is crazy today. Couldn't sleep last night because the vibration was so bad. So we're going to talk about all that, too. Hey, Darlene. How are you? Kelly loves my energy. Yes. Oh, it's high. Trust me. It's over here. Yeah. There's all kinds. I know, Spirit. There's all kinds of stuff to talk about. All kinds. Of, we're going to channel. Truly channel. There's no. I have no agenda today. It's just going to be doom, 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 doom. Yep. Hi, hey, Gloria. How are you? Yes, yes. Oh, so uh, Sherry is connected to her guides and her ancestors. Perfect. They're all out there. I'll tell you what, they're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, they're coming in. So, uh, yeah, it's crazy time. It's very cool. I mean, to me, it's like, wow. It is so cool because we've done, we've never done this before. So it's, um, yeah. But my heart gets all like fluttery, right? Because recognition. Yeah, recognition. And, you know, we're talking about this too, the card of the cross and, and all the stuff that's going on up there. So you guys can kind of get a hint on what's happening towards the end of the year. Because it is already almost the end of October. Where'd that go? Is it the 19th or the 20th? I'm not sure. Is it the 20th? 19th. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, he wants to go. So, we're going to go. Okay. So, how did everybody feel after Saturday with the solar eclipse in Libra? Okay. Um... I felt it big time on, um, up till that night. I had my class reunion that night in Jackson and, um, and uh, that I was putting on, right? And after that night and the Friday night we had a party, I was exhausted, right? But it wasn't just from that. It was from all of the energy, <coughs> all the energy that I let go of. <coughs> I don't know what that's about. I can't the doctor for a month, so it's kind of screwy. Um, so everything combined was a big, huge energy ball that just left me as I slept on Saturday night. So when I woke up on Sunday morning, I was pretty, pretty done, right? Um, and um, 
I gained more strength as the day went on because it wasn't too bad outside. So um, put down in the comments, guys, how you guys dealt with it. If, it, if you felt it, if you didn't feel it, <coughs> if you're still feeling like you're encapsulating it, right? I hold my energy in my heart, around my heart, right? And other people do it in their gut. Some people do it in their head. They get really bad headaches and things like that. But um, yeah, so Darlene says she's starting to feel more inspired and go to, and, and to go to, exactly. That's what that was for. Okay, and we have a lunar eclipse on the 28th, so they're kind of bookending, right? And um, and all of us that are watching Coaching for the Soul or doing Coaching for the Soul um, are going to feel, all of us spiritual beings are going to feel that <coughs> conclusion, okay? Because after the 28th, everybody, you better be ready to soar. <coughs> what is that about? You better be ready to soar, okay? Because um, uh, they're going to move us forward like crazy, like crazy, okay? Spirit says, higher dimensional energy is upon us. You don't have to be ready. We will get you ready. We will get you ready, all right? So that, <coughs> so that means dreams, epiphanies, um, um, hey, Jenny, um, sightings. A lot of UFO stuff is going on, that's for sure. Hey, Bethany. Um, so again, pay attention to the skies when we don't have cloudy skies, right? But it's all about allowing them to do that, and they'll do it when you're sleeping, so you won't really have to worry about it. But you'll feel it in the daytime, okay? Um, but I'm telling you, if you have any residuals from now until the 28th, it's not going to be as intense as before the solar eclipse, all right? For me, I feel fantastic. I mean, it was, a, it was very, very good, but um, Libra is part of the cardinal cross. Now, what is a cardinal cross? It is the four zodiac signs that start the seasons, Okay, so that would be Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn's already gone through 15 years of clearing with Pluto and Capricorn, right? It's, it's already moved into, it's almost ready to move into Aquarius. So um, we've all heard of the age of Aquarius, right? Well, it's beginning full-fledged in January. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> but those cardinal signs, the ones that start the seasons off, are going through an absolute release of things that do not serve us. This is, I mean, we're talking past lives. We're talking about trauma. We're talking about <laughs> spirits of aggravation and BS and people no longer serve us. And you're going to clear the decks, okay? Others will too, okay? So if you have your birth chart, Look at where those four cardinal signs are at. Where's Aries in your houses? Where's Cancer? Where's Libra? And where's Capricorn? Because those are the houses that are going to be cleared in your birth chart if you're not a cardinal sign. Okay? So <clears throat> if you look and you see, it'll tell you exactly what area of your birth chart those four signs are at. Okay? And then just read the definition. And you'll be surprised at how it resonates with you, usually, not all the time, but usually, right? But that's the house that you're going to get more clearing out of. So people might say to me, Bill, my freaking relationships are crazy right now. What the hell's going on? I'm losing people left and right. Bonus. My money is not doing well at all. I don't know what's going on. It just happened last week and it's still going on. I got laid off or whatever it might be, right? My wealth chimes. But whatever house it's in, if you guys want to know with, if, without being, <laughs> just said, without being pummeled by energy, get your birth chart. PamGregory.com. Scroll all the way down. It'll say free birth chart. Click on that bad boy. Put your name. No, don't put your name. Put your birth date, the time you were born, and the city you were born in. And click and just hit that tab. And it'll all come down for you within seconds. Within seconds. Okay? So um, it's very, very, very important that you have that. Keep it handy so that when you are hearing more and more about astrology, because you're going to, you're going to, I'm telling you, that's what we're all about, right? Looking up there, seeing what's going on, because that's where the aliens are coming from, um, right? So understanding that the more that you know about those things, the more you understand and you don't freak out. Trust me, ego doesn't want you to have any of that. 
Right? Doesn't like, no, no, no birth chart. That's baloney. That stuff doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay? So as we go into the 28th and after, 20th is going to be, 28th is going to be the release of most of our junk. Okay? So we have two months, November, December, until 2024. And that whip is going to crack like an MF. I'm telling you. We are going to be catapulted into 5D, like it or not. Some will be slower, some will be accelerated, okay? So the buildup's going to be pretty big. So if you are foggy, if you are can't concentrate, if you can't really focus on things, you have a hard time writing, um, you're having sleepless nights, you're getting um, where you're not hungry, but you're thirsty all the time. Those are all things that are going to happen intently, intensely in the next two months. So have your spring water handy, right? Have yourself a, a sleep aid if you have to, right? Because you got to get your sleep, but they're going to work on you if they're not already. If they're working on you now, it's going to be more intense. If they haven't started working on you yet, well, you're tired 24 hours a day, they're going to, and it's going to be intense. Okay, have your room as cool as you can do with it. Because be, be, I know, because we have to hibernate at night so that they can take care of us. All right, it's very important, very important. A warm room in the wintertime does not work. Neither does it work in the summer. But if you have to, you have to, right? Okay, so <clears throat> we all know that in 2020, <clears throat> everything shifted. COVID did its job, okay? So the ascension process began big time in 2021. The introduction, okay? Most of us already had some introduction in the 2000s, right? I mean, the early 2000s, you know, up to 2020. But the introduction now, ooh, yes. The introduction now is intense. And there's still people that aren't even being connected with yet, right? And so as we move forward and... We become those supermen, right, with the cape on, and we are able to fly, and we're going this way, right? Um, we're going up in the energy. Um, that's just a thing, right? Um, not real, but it's the thing. Um, but sometimes you can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel the lift up of energy um, big time when, when I wake up in the morning. Again, last night, I couldn't sleep worth a darn last night. My body was slowly intensifying all night. I went to bed at like 1030, and at 1 o'clock, I woke up. Thing. And I'm like, okay, what the heck's that about? And I tried to go back to sleep until finally at like 2.30, I woke up and went, okay, I got to take something so that I can get the rest of my sleep. And I did. And so that was cool. But my body was like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah. So when you guys feel that, that's what it is. When you get your headaches, that's what it is. Meditate. Meditate. If you guys aren't doing your guided meditations <coughs> at least once or twice a week, or however you do it to release the energy, you have to. Because your head going boom, 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 boom is because you're not releasing the energy. Your ego's holding on to it, so you stop. Spirit told me that the other day, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? He goes, no. I was doing a reading with somebody. I was like, really? There's no way for us to like undo the pressure cooker? It's like, no. <clears throat> we can try to, right? Again, I do it by speaking, talking, complaining. That's what I do, right? I also meditate twice a week because I have to. Again, in your nightly meditations, things like that, yes. Take the time in the morning. Take the time at night. Sit for five or ten minutes and just, just sit. Breathe. Inhale deeply and elongate your exhale. I'm telling you, you'll go into meditation within four or five or six seconds. You just sit there and keep breathing. Keep getting yourself to where you are lightheaded. And that's when you float. I'm telling you, it's one of the best things you can possibly do for yourself. After the kids have gone to bed, hubby or wife's gone to bed, whatever, that's your time. That's your time. Because if you don't take care of yourself, they can't. Right? They can't. What they will do is interject. And we don't want them to interject, right? I've had them interject in my last eight years. And it wasn't pretty. It wasn't a good time at all. Because they put me on my butt. I was sick. You know, with a cold or the flu or not COVID. <clears throat> I got that in April or June, May. So, yeah. So, so um, 
as long as we're conscious of how we're feeling, if, as long as we're conscious of how much water we're drinking, that we're eating real food, okay? Very important, very important. As little processed food as you can possibly do. Sometimes you have to, because of cost. They get it, we get it, right? It's what you gotta do, because you still gotta eat. Still got kids to feed, husband to feed, wife to feed, whatever, right? And so we have to do our best and they know that. It's when we are unconscious that they interrupt. We don't want them to interrupt. Guys, you don't want them to interrupt. Because some people have fallen, some people have done all kinds of crazy stuff because they were not balanced. Their energy was all over the place. They weren't getting enough sleep, not eating the right food, all kinds of things, right? Because the world is nuts right now. It is supposed to be nuts right now, everybody. It's supposed to be nuts. I've talked about transformation for years, since 2019, before we knew about COVID, right? That fifth dimension is coming. We didn't know when, but now we know when, right? And so if you're not on that train, like Spirit likes to use, right? You got to get on the train. Because if you're not on the train, they're going to take you. They're going to take you to 5D or 4D, upper four. And you're like, okay, why do I feel like I'm floating? And why do I feel like I'm not grounded? And why do I feel like I don't know what to do? Because you didn't practice in the beginning times, right? have to. I'm the most stubborn human being on the planet. I swear to God I am. And, but I know what makes me balanced, what makes me clear. Because I can get angry as a freaking warthog. I mean, I get whole angry um, just because frustration. And I meditate and do my good. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. God. I put my, I work on my sacral, uh, my, my solar plexus, right? Because I don't have any fun. <laughs> I don't know how to have fun. But I'm trying to get to that place, right? Because um, I just want to be. We all just want to be, right? But we have to understand that the outside world is going through the transformation too. That's what the wars are about. I've spoken about with spirit, right? About that by 2030, all the dictators will be gone and China will be left. Okay? That's going to happen. The, again, and how the muggles are going to pass. Right? So these big events is third dimension making its last stand, spirit says. Right? Because the energy in 3D is comfortable for most of us, not all of us, right? I was talking to somebody this week and we were talking about um, what it's like to be in an area in your house or something like that. That you, Sometimes you have to go back to 3D because, you know, I'm 63, going to be 64, right? And I need to go back to 3D sometimes, not for long because it's crazy. <laughs> People are nuts, right? And that's because they, their, their, their sensors are all off. They don't know what to do and they don't know where to go. Again, I've talked to people this week who, who didn't have any idea, especially at the reunion, no idea about any of this. And they were saying, oh, Bill, you know, you're a clairvoyant and a shaman and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. And like, no big deal, right? And they're like, well, Bill, we don't understand what's going on. And I said, I started probably talking to them for 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour, um, just hanging out talking about what exactly is going on and how it's going to help all of us to absolutely become better, lighter, wonderful human beings. It's nothing but love in 5D and higher. And we're all going there. This is the reaction, the dark forces, right? Of trying to do as much as it possibly can to stop the ascension. It's not going to. They only know to do one thing, and that's war. Killing people, right? Blowing things up. Lots of people are harming themselves because it's time for them to go. And out of the blue, they kill themselves. That's because of the ascension. It's already began. See? Because I talked to one woman who lost a daughter earlier this year. She was 19. And had no signs of anything like that. And out of the blue, she took pills. One day they found her. Gone. In bed. We all have an expiration date. And we never know when it's going to be. 
like I, like I always talk about with spirit, right? That when people are going to hurt themselves, especially with a gunshot or something like that, they're in a total haze, right? They don't know what they're doing. They take over. Or their soul contract, their soul journey, right, says they need to feel the impact they, because they want that experience. Most do not. Most just know that, okay, my soul, I signed the contract, I'm supposed to do something to myself on this date at this time, and this person's going to find me, which is horrible. But, but again, don't be alarmed by that, right? Don't be alarmed by the war. Is it horrible? It's disgusting. Disgusting. But they've been fighting for 2,000 years. Does it make it right? Not at all. Not at all, not at all, not at all. See? Even in Ukraine, not at all, Right? Because they're trying to stand up for their freedom. They're trying to stand up for what, they, what their country owns and not letting somebody else take it from them. And there'll be more. There'll be more conflicts, okay? Um, the blessing is, is that our military is ready. We won't be hit with, with big things. Like Spirit has said before, it will be small devices blowing up in New York and Washington, Washington D.C., Miami. He says something about, like Houston, hopefully it's not the oil things, um, possibly Denver, but definitely L.A., okay? San Francisco, yeah, yeah, see? Um, well, when they're going to happen, I don't know. They won't say anything about when, they never do, right? Because, but we just have to know that things like that are coming. Will it be all eight of them? Possibly not. It will not happen in Detroit. We're blessed with that. Um, <clears throat> we're not that big. And we have the air population. So it's not gonna really affect us much. It might, but Spirit's telling me no. You guys are, we're all safe, which is cool. Um, so understanding and not being alarmed, not being afraid, right? Because ego's fear. And it loves it. It will enforce it and make it bigger and it'll just, you'll just hold it. No, don't do that. Again, right? Grab it in your chest and toss it away. It's not mine. Grab it, toss it. Grab it, toss it. Grab it, toss it. And say, Spirit, this isn't mine anymore. This is, I'm done with that. I'm done with fear. I'm done with that. And that's what you do. Say it out loud, right? They need to hear it and you need to hear it. Goes in that ear, right? Goes right to your brain. And guess what happens? You become settled. Because you're in charge. Ego can't be in charge. Because ego will absolutely run your butt ragged. Thinking, oh my God, the sky is falling. It's not. It's not. Understanding all of us are protected by your spirit guides and guardian angels. We all have white light around us. All do. All do. See? No one's going to hurt you. Because they won't let that happen. Unless, right, your soul journey is an expiration date that's coming up. We're not allowed to say, we're not allowed to know that, right? But it won't be a mass thing. That's the, that's the, that's the thing about it. It's not going to be mass casualties, Spirit always says. And it's not. It's not. Okay? So, as you think, see things happen, Spirit has said, karma's karma. Very true. Karma's karma. And everything is past due, Spirit says. Okay? Those who have wronged are being brought to justice. Those, th those countries, those humans, those whatever, it's, chimes, it's the final push for neutrality, Spirit says. Okay? So, it is what it is. But we need to understand that we are not in danger. Most of us are not in danger at all, Right? It's this that gets us into trouble. Because we'll do stupid stuff. We'll listen to something that's a conspiracy theory. Or we'll listen to a friend or whatever, right? And that's another reason why most of us are alone. So people don't impact us. Their opinions don't influence us. What they believe, and my sister's like this. I love her to death. But when her husband was alive, they came together and this is what we do. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's nothing like that. Well, we've got the missiles here in Colorado, blah, blah, blah. And they're gonna, no, they're not. Any missile that comes from anywhere is gonna be shot down by our missiles, by our, by, again, by our military. Not gonna happen. Our personal safety is what we have to worry about. 
meaning getting people out of our lives that don't, that don't fit, that don't fit at all. Because as they start to talk to you, everybody, and everybody says, Bill, I want, I want them to talk. To me. I, I want to hear them. Don't watch what you wish for. Because as we get into 2024, activation, 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 activation. And people are going to be texting me going, Bill, what? how do I get them to shut up? Yeah. All day long, everybody. All day long. And they'll talk about stuff that is not even true. All the stuff I know. <laughs> he just hit me with energy. Like, what are you doing? No, it's true. I had a friend who 2018 got activated by me at this table. And um, he was on a whirlwind, right? He was like, Bill, I gotta get my, I have, I have to get my, my passport. I've got to go to the, the pyramids in Egypt this weekend. No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> it's like five days away. Like, no, you don't have to. That's just stuff that's been stuck in the channel for freaking thousands of years, and it truly is. He was having all this stuff. I'm, oh, Bill, I got this, all these downloads, and I said, like, dude, stop. And guess where he went? <laughs> to Egypt for nothing. Yeah, Egypt for nothing. You know, came back, came back like two days later. He's like, Bill, you were right. Well, I'm not going to be, that's not the point I'm right. It's the fact that we have to understand that there's all kinds of stuff stuck in the channel. So when you get 100% activated, which happens with some of us, right? Everything that's in the queue comes down to us. And you'll hear some crazy stuff. Don't believe any of it because it's not true today. All right. I never had that. I was, I was blessed because they've been with me since I was eight years old. So for me, it was like they knew there was no clearing the channel. Right. Yeah. I just, it just happened. I think when I was born, but I'm not, I noticed it at eight years old. <clears throat> but as we go forward, right. As we go into the next two months, don't be surprised if it's a little chaotic and you got to have ways to close yourself off and take care of yourself energy wise because energy is going to be really, really high from now until the eclipse, right? Remember me showing you a couple weeks ago how we're going to be up like this and we're going to stay and we're going to stay and we're going to stay and then when, after we get past the eclipse, it's going to dip because we can't be up there yet, all of us, right? We can't. Our bodies and brains aren't ready. So we have to... Uh, drink water, spring water if you can, um, but it's going to dip. And then the next one is the winter is the winter solstice on the 21st. So 21st of December, pop up again. Okay, New year, stay there till the new year, right? In January, we come down some, but then four, five D kicks in for everybody who's been activated. And all of a sudden, you're like, whoa, what happened this morning, Bill? I got vertigo like crazy. I can't even, I can barely stand up. The room is spinning. Yeah. My legs are really weak. Yeah. Because again, overnight, over the week, they've slowly gone and cleared you. And then all of a sudden, boom, it comes up. And you're like, okay, so what the hell's going on? This is crazy. Crazy. Eating things change. You're always thirsty. Drink, 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 drink. They don't want you to drink any processed stuff. No soda, no blah, 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 right? Coffee and tea are fine, I think. But all the other stuff, no. In fact, I have a friend who's going, um, who's going away in, a, in three weeks. And he was telling me, um, you know, I like to drink, Bill. Um, is that okay? I'm like, no. You can have a drink if you want to. But, you, but you're going to feel what it feels like because your energy drops. Your vibration drops. Right? Because you're messing with your mind. So, um, now you're not in control. So, um, yeah. So, <clears throat> you'll drink less if you, if you drink some cocktails or some beers and stuff like that. And weed's the same thing. Drugs the same exact thing. You'll see some crazy stuff. Because you're unleashed. <laughs> you don't want to be unleashed, guys. You don't want to be unleashed in this process of transformation. Because it could freak you out. And that's what ego wants. It wants to freak you out so you come back to 3D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Spirit also says you're going to have types of illusions. All right. You're going to have all kinds of epiphanies and all kinds of illusions. You'll be awake and you'll see things in your mind's eye. Right. And you'll go, why am I thinking about that? I don't even know who those people are. That's someplace I've never been before. Because again, you're being activated. 
with all kinds of cool stuff. Because I'm sure we've all thought about somebody and they called, right? It happened to me yesterday. <laughs> Out of the blue. You know, I was thinking, okay, I got to call. I got to call her to set some stuff up. And as I said, set this stuff up, she called me on the phone. That's how it works. Allison says this. Exactly, Allison. Right? See? Because you're gaining more strength in telepathy. Your brain is shifting. You get tingles on the top of your head, chills. I get them on the left side of my head all the time. My crown chakra lights up like there's nothing going on. It goes like that. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. So, it's, so, so as those things happen, it's not just coincidence. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Everything is planned. Everything. Keystones, right? Boom, 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 boom. And then we get there. And we watch the rest of them struggle. And you'll start teaching people. Telling, like I did at the reunion. Telling people about blah, 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 blah. And most of it is going to come from them. Don't be surprised. That's clairvoyancy. Coming out of your mouth and you not actually mean to say it. Because they know when you're comfortable. They know when you're chilling. They know when you're balanced. When, you're, when you feel safe when you feel safe. And those two people that I that I said things to, they live in Houston, right? Well, guess what the problem And he's a flight attendant for United. Well, guess what? I got two really cool ambassadors, right? That's how it works. That's how it works. Because as you allow them to take care of you, as you allow them to, to listen to you, they're with you all the time, all the time. All the time. Doesn't matter who you are. They're just waiting for you to go, oh, I feel you. Fluttering my heart or tingles on my head or whatever it's going to be. Right? Or, and, or feeling pressure on your chest to say, no, don't, because you'll do that. I'm telling you. They will stop you from walking in traffic. They'll stop you from walking, from walking across the um, platform for the train. They'll do it. Swear to God if you're not paying attention. They will do that. And understand that, like, whoo, something feels like they're pushing that because the train's coming or there's cars coming or whatever. They're always with you. They're always listening. They're always doing exactly what they need to do to protect you, to make sure that you are good. Because they need our help. They need our help, right? And they need our help because we're humans. Yeah. Now, something came across... Um, from, from a friend that I'd already seen, I already seen this, this clip of the little boy who's the star seed and his mom's a medium. Have you guys seen it on my page? Um, and, um, he's a cute little 10 year old boy who completely connected. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. He's so just innocent and lovely and just, he just blah, 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 blah. And his mom said, so what do you think? So what, do you, what about this? And he's like, blah, 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 blah. It's beautiful. He reminded me today because I'd seen it before, <clears throat> and somebody sent me um, the video again, right? I said, Bill, have you seen this? I said, yeah, I have. It's pretty freaking cool. So we're going to talk about aliens today, okay? So they're already here, all right? In the video, he says they're going to come. They're coming, you know, soon, which is true, to help humanity manage, okay? Well, there's already people, there's already aliens here, I and mean, I've had them in my house, right, in 2018, three different times. And um, I have a picture of them. Um, they're gray aliens that were in my house. And, um, and one was not a gray alien. He was a, he was a reptilian um, from um, blah, blah, one of them. Um, my head's way up there. <coughs> so as they introduce themselves to America and the world, because <laughs> they're going to, closer to 2025, 20, 26, okay, um, that's why the government's talking about UFOs and things like that. Again, triggering, letting that stuff go, right? Um, letting the information out, let it be processed, okay? Making it so that it's not a woo-woo thing, because it's not. Um, chimes. They're going to actually help us because we're them, right? I mean, we weren't put on the earth by just organically. No. We're aliens also. 
just in human form. I mean, this experiment, right? It truly is. And we're kind of a experimental planet, let's say. And uh, they go through different phases of what we're going to do. Kind of like a puppeteer. So as they show themselves, as they reveal themselves, as more and more people know about them, because some people already do, because they're married to people, um, they have children, right, who are hybrids, let's say, um, that, 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 that as it starts to be more comfortable, it's kind of like this. Spirit always uses this. It's kind of like gay folks coming out of the closet, right? It truly is, right? Gay people have been hidden for centuries and thousands of years, sometimes, not all the time, right? But in 3D, upper 3D, right? It's been bad. Like I was talking to somebody the other day and, and we were talking about the fact that gay people used to be arrested every Saturday night out of the gay bar, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 men, women too in the women's bars, right? And taken to jail and beaten. So at midnight, either the bar would clear out or they would stay and fight. And in 1969, Stonewall Bar in New York City, the drag queens beat up the cops. And that started the gay revolution, right? Same thing's going to happen with the aliens, everybody, although they're not going to fight back, right? They're going to come out of the closet one at a time. When the time is right, it's a keystone, right? It's in our journey of a keystone. And that's when it's going to happen one or two at a time, right? Those are the ones who are going to sacrifice themselves, because mankind is crazy, really crazy. And if you look at the world in general, there is a lot of crazy countries on the planet, right? And they'll be either coming with us or they won't, right? But those are the places that they will probably either show up or to be sacrificed. I tell spirit that's freaking crazy, but that's what, their, that's what their destiny is, is to be the first to be seen, the first to be probed, the first to be all those kinds of things, right? Could be hundreds of them, depending upon the planet, or depending upon the countries on the planet, right? And so that's their, uh -huh, their predestined spirit says that's their journey, right? So just like it was a, just like it was a gay people who were pulled out of the stone wall, and taken to jail every Saturday night, 10 of them. They knew they were gonna get beat up. They knew they're gonna get a black eye or whatever, they're gonna be beat to crap. And they were let out in the morning with no charges on Sunday morning. No, Sunday morning at six o'clock, they all got let go. Threatening, right? But that's what humans have done in 3D. It's the same thing with these people, with these beings, right? And so when it happens, don't freak out. Don't freak out. You'll probably see them in your dreams. You'll probably see them. You may even know them, right? Who knows? Well, when they showed up at my house, come through the tree in 2018, right? <laughs> Two of them came in the house. I didn't even know for like a week. Till I took a picture of 111 on my stove. And one of them was standing in front of the doorway there in front of the tree. To the balcony. There he is right there. You can see his brain. He's just standing there not thinking that I was going to take a picture and I'd be able to see him because they're pretty much invisible unless they want us to see them, right? Yeah. Surprise. And I was just starting my journey, right? So I'm like, this is freaking crazy because I never believed in aliens before then. Now I totally do. So as, the, as we ascend, right? And we energize ourselves and we're balanced and it's all good and we're not afraid of anything because they got our back. Our brain starts to shift because it's going too big time. I'll tell you what, I'm not the same guy I was in 2020 or 21 or 22. It's total ascension. It's fantastic. But sometimes I don't know who I am, right? Again, I'm here by myself all the time. Now the bailey's gone. Um, working, doing readings, doing this, doing that, doing posting stuff, all kinds of things, right? So it, it is, and again, activation from them conversations with them. Not a lot, but just like words or whatever, right? I'm usually the one who makes the conversation and days later or something like that, they'll say something, right? Or they'll say it in a reading and I'll be like, well, that's what I asked the other day. When we thought to give it to you like that, why? I don't get it. 
just the way they do with me. So drink more spring water. Try to get as much sleep as you can. And I'm telling you what, people have been saying, <laughs> Bill, I don't have any motivation. I don't have any energy. Um, I can't focus on anything because you're in mid-heaven. They're getting you ready for the catapult. See, last summer, no, this spring, this past spring, um, when I was going to Livonia and um, Spirit said, you know why we are, um, why your business is kind of whatever? I'm like, no. He goes, because we need you to rest. We're activating you 24 hours a day. I went, okay. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about anything. It's good. I'm like, well, I still need to have this to pay bills and things like that. It'll be there. Don't worry about it. <coughs> okay. Well, it has been. But I had to surrender to that in 2022. No, 21. Okay? Because it's too tough fighting them. Because if you don't listen to them, they will make your life... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If something presents itself to you, accept it. Trust me, accept it. If something comes on your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed or your YouTube feed, look at it. No one's been on here like this before. Hmm, let me check that out. Be curious, Spirit always says. Because this Capricorn is structured. Not as much as I have been. And you got to control everything, the energy, everything. Not anymore. So when things come across my YouTube feed, I look at it. Oh, I've never, this person never showed up before. Click. And if I like it five minutes in, I'll listen some more. If I don't like it, if it doesn't resonate with me, okay. What they're doing is looking to see if you'll take a chance. It's on your YouTube feed. It's on my Facebook page. It's on my Instagram, right? Click it, whatever. They're looking to see if you're open to expansion. And it's easier when you are. It truly is. Because it's easier to, for them to activate us when we're balanced and chilling or whatever. That's what it is. So as balanced as you can be by taking care of yourself, doing self-talk out loud, parenting yourself out loud. When you parent yourself out loud, that is your higher self. And your higher self will talk back to you through you. I mean, I will do that at least three or four times a week, right? When I'm goofy. And, um, and they'll parent me. I, it comes from me, right? But my, but my third dimensional brain, this much of it, right? Can't think about that for me. Not yet. And I'm okay with that. It makes it easier for me to understand. Yeah. So all the things that you do for you... Not anybody else, but for you, it's very, very, very important. It's very important. Because if you're a female, I'm telling you, females run the world. Plain and simple. Guys need three things. I've talked about this before. A job, sex, and food. That's on our DNA. That's all they need. Some of us are more advanced. Thank God I'm gay. Because we are all about everything else. But some people are not. Right? They're not. So that's supposed to be yet. Hence, Yet. So we have to make sure if, there, if there's a mom and a dad and kids, that mom's good. If not mom's good, dad's good, right? Whoever, because we have to make sure that there's as much balance as we can get in the family. Now, <clears throat> Spirit has said to me for the past couple of weeks, and I posted something today on Facebook about mental health for children. Mental health in children is more important than grades. Trust me, if you're thinking 3D wise, I got to have a schedule. I got to get my child in this. I got to get my child in that. You're going to you're do You're wasting your time because once that child hits where he's supposed to go or he's she's supposed to go, the star seed rises and everything in 3D that you think they're supposed to have is no longer. It's gone. It's gone. We're going to the future and it's not any future that we've that, it's not anything we've known before. Except, except, we came from 5D 12,000 years ago, 12,500 years ago. Yeah. We're just going back to where we were before, after 12,500 years. But some of us don't know that. They're putting their kids into structure. I mean, somebody said to me last week that he's not really good at school. He's not supposed to be good at school. He's a freaking Gemini. He's not going to be good at, he's connected already. He's like 14. He's a boy. 
got testosterone going through his body, and he likes girls. Again, guys need three things, right? That's it. So you can try to get him to, well, he could do better. Well, he's not supposed to do better. I heard that my parents my whole high school years. Well, Bill could always do better. No, I didn't like school. It was dumb. But I'm going to go to school. I already know everything. Anything that I need to know, they're going to take care of me on that. But I still had to do my work, right? I still had to. My mother and father just kind of gave up. Like, okay, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. That's what it's all about. Not pressuring your children because what you went through as, an, as a child and you got into the college, you got into the blah, 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 you got into this job, that job, this job, that job, that's not them. They're not. And if they, and if you make them feel like they need to be, might just lose them. 18, 19, 20 years, say, mom, and they're gone. To be that free spirit, that 1965 child. Love, no war, the whole kind of, again, the age of, the age of Aquarius. Yeah, because if you try to push your children into something, it's not going to work. Like a dad telling his son he wants him to be a baseball player or a basketball player or a hockey player or a football player or blah, blah, whatever. It's going to be a politician, whatever. No, don't do that to your kid because they're hybrids. They are not the children I was right, 57 years ago in five, in, when I was in first grade. No, mm-mm. We're 3D humans here. But I talk to people all the time that their kids are like four and six and 10. They're like, Bill, my child is just, whoa. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Because all of a sudden, they're going to become a freaking light bright, right? That little toy we had when we were kids, right? It like lit up with all the colors you put the pegs in. Yeah. And you're going to see them, and we're going to see them all over the place. Because we're connected. We're like, well, there's one, and there's one. And look at he's trans. Look at that. His his face just glows. It just crystallizes in in, in the sun because he's a crystalline child. Indigo children start being born in twenty to the, the the year two thousand, and it's going to continue, continue and continue because they're the ones who are going to run the world. Run the world. See, so us old people, even if you're forty, even if you're thirty, you're still old. The blessing is you have less baggage because those kids come in with no past lives. They're clean, right? Their ego is minuscule, but they do not have a filter like we have. So noise and bright sun and honking cars and, you know, people yelling, they can't deal with that because they're coming in for love and balance, chimes. And I've known that since they're, early 2020, no, early 2000s, that, um, that autistic kids and things like that are just here early, just here early. All those children will, are, are waiting for higher dimensional energy to be activated. But children now are 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 14, 18. Those kids don't have that much of a filter. Think, it's 21, it's 23 years ago was, 20, was the year 2000. So any child that's up to 23 years old is a star seed. They may not have been activated yet, but some of them came that way without the filter. That's why I don't yell at your child. That's why you don't spank your children. You don't hit them at all. Cannot hit your children. You cannot speak to them wrong because guess what? You're damaging their mental health. You can't grab them by the arm. You can't do all the things that maybe our parents would do us because they're not us at all. They're not us. We were a violent society. My parents didn't spank us a lot. My mother was kind of strict and she would like hit us with the yardstick and stuff, right? Because she was a seamstress. Um, but she just yelled at us all the time, constantly yelling, you know, just because she was frustrated. She had four kids and only wanted two. See? So we were used to it, but I was the go-to person for making people happy in my house. Hence why I'm the people person that I'm trying to break that codependency, right? So those are the things that you don't want to, that you don't want to show your children because they're going to do the same thing.
know because that child doesn't know why it's being hit. It doesn't. Four years old, five years old, six years old. You should know. No, they're not going to know they're five. <laughs> they're five years old. They're not going to know any of that. And they're a starseed, right? So they don't have the, the, the third dimensional stuff, the filter that we have in ours, in our brain. Yeah. So we have to make sure that when you have children, that you ju they're going to frustrate the hell out of you. They're supposed to. Because what they're doing is changing you. They're supposed, to change, they're supposed to change mom and dad. We didn't realize that back in the day, right? But they're supposed to change mom and dad. They, their soul could be twice as old as mom and dad, 10 times as old as mom and dad. But they're supposed to, and how many parents have said, I can tell you mine, um, what, are you crying, what are you crying for? I'll give you something to cry for. Really? Why? <laughs> what would you want to, it's domination, right? And giving the child that a voice. It has to have a voice. It's probably 10 times older than you. So when that child gets to be 14, 13, 14, 15 years old, this starts to happen. And mom and dad are like, oh my God, I didn't raise my child like that. Well, yes, you did by showing them how to do it. And when you bump up against that energy of five dimension, a fifth, fifth dimension, right? Yeah. You're like, WTF, what's happening? Mm -hmm. My daughter, my son, all of a sudden doesn't want to be around me because guess why? Your 3D energy pulls them down and they go off into the world. Yeah, yeah. So it's very, very important that we as a collective understand what's going on. Giving ourselves what we need, right? Journaling. I talk on my phone all the time, all the time. When something hits me, it's usually in the shower, right? Or brushing my teeth. And I'm like, blah, 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 and I understand what it is when I, listen, when I listen to it. But yeah, all of us have to understand this, again, starting today, that we have to drink more spring water. We have to eat real food. We have to get enough sleep. Slow things down, right? Because right now, it's getting revved up out of control again, like before 2020 and the pandemic, right? So we have to take it upon ourselves because you're going to be pressed. The energy is going to be boom, boom, booming, right? And you're going to be like, okay, I get the energy thing, but I, this is driving me crazy. I, and that's what you got to do. Just stop. Do a 10 minute meditation, just being quiet. Ask in spirit, I need you to help me with this. Come on, help me with this. However you have to do it, don't just turn a blind eye and get overtired, angry, frustrated, because your kids are already doing it, baby. If you got young kids, they're already doing it. They're thinking, what the heck's wrong with her? What's wrong with mom? What's wrong with dad? What's wrong with grandma? They're always mean. Because hmm? your kids are trying to pull you up into 5D. Yeah. So we have to take care of ourselves, everybody. We have to take care of ourselves. No one's going to do it for us. <laughs> no one's going to do it for us. There's no one out there that's going to do it for us. And what does that give us? That gives us the power to teach people. The power to teach people in the future. Because you've done your work. No one's going to do it for you. And you'll tell your story and they'll get it. The people will get it. You'll be like, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm going through now. Yeah, I did too. Only I wasn't paying attention enough, not smart enough, that's ego. I wasn't paying attention enough to really understand what the hell it was. Because you're going to be the one who teaches everyone else. If you like it or not. That's the way it is way it is. It's like me. I do what I do because I'm supposed to do it. And I do the same thing when I get to Hawaii, right? Maybe it's a little bit different, but I don't know. Am I willing to do that? Sure, whatever. What the heck? I'm still alive. It's all good, right? So the special end readings are still going on. An hour for one thirty. Um, half an hour are a hundred dollars, which is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna run that for like another week or so. Because there's a lot of people that couldn't get that I couldn't book. I had to book them out, right? So I may as well do it for everybody. Um, so yeah, BillHobart.com. Um, it'll say on the top of the homes page, um, autumn readings, autumn psychic readings, autumn. My Terry does that stuff for me. I don't, you know, she just sends me what what she wants to say and she does it, um, and I okay it. So yeah, so that um, stock up on spring water. Uh, 
We've got a lot of sunshine anymore because we're in Michigan, right? So you got to do what you got to do to get outside, get some exercise, get some get some fresh air, stuff like stuff like that. Eat, don't overeat with stuff. You know, try to keep yourself because they're going to start to make you thirsty, which is going to mean that you're going to be drinking a lot of water. It's going to fill up your belly, your stomach, right? And you can eat less food. So just work with them. <laughs> It'll be much easier for you. Trust me. Um, what else? I think that's it. So, like always, if you guys have any, if you guys have any, um, if you guys have any questions, you know where to, you know where to find me. Put them down here on the page, and I won't take this off till tomorrow morning. Um, I'll answer them tonight, okay, or tomorrow morning before I d delete it. It'll already be on, it'll already be on YouTube, okay. If you guys would please, after I post it, go back to YouTube for me and like the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, leave a comment like you like what we did, like what we did today. Um, yeah, Paula, the energy is intense today, isn't it? Um, yeah, and it all helps us, right? It all helps me to build the channel because I just found out a couple weeks ago that when you like the video, the algorithms pick it up from YouTube and send it more places. <coughs> and that's what we wanna do, right? So, yeah. So I'll see you guys next week. Thursday at three, going for the soul. See ya. Have a good one.